Welcome to this short tutorial on bone segmentation. My name is Arsham, and I'm an application engineer at Materialize. In this video, I'll show you how to complete the same job with three different approaches, being manual, semi-automated, and fully automated segmentation. In all three cases, we're going to work on the same bones from the same data set. First, let's start with the manual approach. And this is just a regular workflow for segmenting any anatomy in MIMIX. I'll start by going to the Segment tab and selecting New Mask. Here, I'll define an initial threshold for my region of interest, and I can preview this threshold by activating the 3D Mask Preview like this. And then click on OK to confirm. Now, there are some parts included in the mask here that I'm not interested in, so I'm going to use the Region Grow tool to indicate the parts that I want to keep. These are the femur, patella, tibia, and fibula. I can separate the bones from each other using the split mask tool so that we can work on them separately. Let me quickly show you what that looks like. Now, if needed, I could rename the regions so I can easily identify them. But when we cover the third method later, we'll see a tool that does this automatically for us. After making my indications, I press OK to confirm my selection. Now, as a final step, I want to fill up the empty spaces in my femur to end up with a solid bone. I can do this with the Smart Fill tool in the Segment tab. And what I really like about this tool is that it gives me a preview of the adjustments before they actually happen. I'll first fill the small holes automatically. Now, if this result is not sufficient, I can always mark the remaining holes with the same tool. Here's an example. After clicking OK, the bone will be filled. And from there, I'll calculate a 3D part with the quality set to optimal. We can do this by selecting the mask in the Project Management tab and clicking on Calculate Part in the Segment menu. By toggling on the 3D contours of my object, I can verify the accuracy of my segmentation directly on the CT scan. And this is what the result looks like. Now I can use this 3D file to design a medical device or, for instance, place landmarks and perform a 3D analysis in Threematic. So that was a manual method. Now using the same data set, I'll show you a second approach that requires a bit less manual work and obtains similar results. For this, I'm going to use a CT Bone Wizard. And as the name suggests, this tool segments bones on CT images. We can find it under the Advanced Segment tab. The CT Bone Wizard works almost automatically with minor user input. After opening the tool, we are prompted to select points in desired and undesired anatomical regions. We're still interested in the same anatomy, so we'll again indicate the femur, patella, tibia, and fibula. But I'm also going to include seat points for the hip and parts of the foot that I don't want in my final segmentation. Afterwards, I can adjust the thresholds of my region of interest. And as with the first example, I can preview these results directly in 3D. After clicking Next, I can choose to fill my final mask to end up with solid bones, as you can see right here in the 3D viewport. Now, unlike the method we used earlier, I don't have to perform this filling myself. And after just a few clicks, this is what the final result looks like. So these examples were performed with the manual segmentation tools in MIMIX and the dedicated CT bone tool. The latter is a fantastic tool that was launched a few years ago and it offers a lot of automated functionalities. However, it's still a tool only to be used by trained professionals and the absolute accuracy of the segmentation will partially depend on the user skills. So that was a semi-automatic method, which is faster than the manual method. But now I'm going to show you the new AI bone segmentation tool in MIMIX, which is the fully automated method. This cloud-based tool is accessible from any laptop or computer with an internet connection, and it's ideal for companies scaling up their personalized solutions because they won't need to invest in special hardware. 
And what I find very convenient is that you can let it run in the background while doing something else. The algorithm segments the results for you. Let me show you how it works. In the Mimics project, go to the Advanced Segment tab and select Request Segmentation. After clicking on the desired automatic segmentation type, the algorithm will start running in the background and you can work on something else. The result will be sent to your email or you can open them straight from the platform. And after receiving the result, you can easily share it with your peers to review the case, make annotations, perform measurements and more, all in the browser. They don't even need to have a working Mimics license. It's as easy as it looks, so give it a try yourself. Every Mimics user has around 120 tokens available to try it out, and the number of tokens needed per segmentation depends on the anatomy you want to submit. And with this, we've covered the third method to segment the lower limbs. Thanks for watching, and feel free to contact us at mimics at materialize.be if you need more information about using bone segmentation tools in Mimics. I'll see you in the next tutorial.